In this video, we're going to look at how to move objects around via script in Unity. And we're going to start with the position of an object. So how do we translate an object via script? And to test this out, I've just set up a cube in my scene. Uh, it's at 0, 0, 0. I have a camera up above looking down. So when I hit play, I'll be able to see my cube from above. And then I'm just going to be moving the cube around via script. So how do I change these values via script? Well, to do so, I have already created a movement script and I've attached it to my cube. So if we go ahead and open that up, then we can just start typing. And what we want to do is we want to put this in the update. We want this to happen every frame. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to get a reference to the transform. And luckily, Unity provides us with one. We can simply type transform. And this is a shorthand for the transform component that all game objects have. I can then type transform. And there's a few different ways that I can do this you'll see that there is a translate method and we tell it how we want to move and what we want to move relative to. But I think it's actually better to just start setting the position ourselves. I think this is a little bit easier of a way to look at it. So if we were to look up and down through this list, we're going to see a position and that's what we want to change. And we'll see that it's a vector three. So we're going to have to provide an X, Y, and a Z. So to start moving, I'm going to take the transform position and I might set it equal to, well, I need a vector three. So new vector three, and in the constructor, I can then start giving that some values. I can give it an X, a Y, and a Z. I want to move to the right, so I'll say one, zero, zero. Now, as I've written this, I'm just going to move to this position. So instead, I want to add this. Instead of this being a position, now this is a direction, one to the right. But this is going to happen every frame. So that would mean that I would be moving to the right one meter. These units are in meter every frame. And that would be very fast. And it would also be inconsistent. And this is an important point. Your game is going to try and run at, say, 30 or 60 frames per second. But it might not. There might be lag spikes on different devices. It might run at different speeds. And you don't want the movement of your objects to be affected by what device they're running on. So what we're going to do is we are going to multiply by something from the time class, and it's going to be called delta time. And this is the interval in seconds from the last frame. So what this is going to do is instead of this being a distance, this is now going to be a speed. Remember, distance would be, say, meters. Speed would be meters per second. If you take meters per second time number of seconds, now this turns into a distance. So if we had a really long frame, if it took a long time to render the frame, then we're going to move further. If we had a really fast frame, it happened really quick, we're going to move less. And that intuitively hopefully makes sense to you. That gives us a consistent speed no matter how long the frame is taking. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to pop back over to Unity. I'm going to let that compile for just a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And what you should see is as soon as we start playing, the cube moves to the right at one meter or one world unit per second. And lo and behold, that seems about correct. Awesome. So we're moving and we can move just as easily in the Y and the Z and some combination of these. But there's a little bit more that we have to talk about here. And that is what coordinate system are we in? Right now, we're moving in global coordinates. So if I go back and let's turn this around, um, so I'm looking in the same orientation as my camera, we're moving to the right. If I were to take this cube and I were to rotate this cube, now you'll note that we're still moving to the right because we are in global space. And that is indicated by this icon right here in the top menu, which looks like a globe. If I click on this, I can toggle down to local space, and we'll see that locally, the right, the X of the cube, is up at about a, what is that, 45, yeah, 43 degree angle. So if we talk about moving to the right, whose right are we talking about? What we just saw was global space, meaning that if I hit play again, the cube is going to continue to move to the right relative to the camera in global space, not to the right of the cube. So what if I want to move to the right of the cube? Well, what I can do there is instead of using this vector three, which is universally to the right, I can use the right of my transform. And I can get that again from the transform component. And lo and behold, I have a right value. So this is the X value locally to myself. And if I go back over to Unity and I hit play, then we'll see that we are now moving up into the right. We are moving to the right of the cube rather than the right of the world. 
And there's one more sort of space that we have to talk about, and that is the space relative to the parent. So if I were to take this cube and I were to create another, say, a sphere, um, so our cube is now orbiting the Earth, this tiny sphere here. And let me move my cube out of the way so we can see that. And if I make this a child of our Earth, I now have a right position of the sphere. So the sphere's right is this direction. The cube's right is this whole other direction. And if we go back and we toggle uh, to global coordinates, the global right is this direction. So we've already looked at the global and we've already looked at the object. What if I want to move relative to the parent? That is yet a third way of doing this. I'm going to hit Control C a couple of times. Um, what we're going to do is instead of changing the position, we are going to change the local position. And what we mean by local position is relative to the parent. And luckily, it tells us that right in the IntelliSense. So if you ever forget, you can look it up right here. And so if I go ahead and hit play, and then again, I'm going to go up and I'm going to switch so we can see the local of the sphere. And let's set it some other direction. Let's say that the local of the sphere is down to the right. Then if I hit play, you'll see that the cube moves down into the right relative to the sphere's local space. So again, there's a number of different ways that we can move around. Um, in addition to this local position, Unity also has a uh, translate function, and that allows you to define the space. And that's why I wanted to start with position, because now we understand what the spaces are. You are welcome to use transform.translate instead and simply tell it what space to do, or you're welcome to use local position and position and to use transform.write and transform.up and all of these things to move your object around in either 3D or 2D space. You can use these same functions for either a 3D game or a 2D game.